Welcome to this Corporate Maths video on multiplying negatives. In this video, we're going to look at what happens when we multiply positive numbers by positive numbers, positive numbers by negative numbers, negative numbers by positive numbers, and negative numbers by negative numbers. When I introduce this to a class, normally I start off with this pattern just to sort of get the idea across. So we've got 5 times 2. So 5 times 2 is equal to 10. We've got 5 times 1 is equal to 5, and 5 times 0 is equal to 0. We should know those from our times tables. So a positive times a positive is equal to a positive and anything times zero is equal to zero. Now if we have a look at the pattern, we've got five times two, five times one, five times zero, five times negative one, and five times negative two. So each time we're just having one less lot of five. And if we look at our answers, we've got 10, five, zero. Each time we're getting five smaller. So our answer here, five times minus one, or negative one, should be equal to negative five, because it's five smaller. And five times negative two is equal to negative 10. So there are answers, 5 times 2 is equal to 10, 5 times 1 is equal to 5, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times a negative 1 is negative 5, so a positive multiplied by a negative is equal to a negative, and 5 times negative 2 is equal to negative 10, so again a positive times a negative is equal to a negative. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at what happens when we multiply a negative 5 by 2, and then by 1, and then by 0, and then by negative 1, and negative 2. So we know that a positive times a negative is equal to a negative, while also a negative multiplied by a positive will also give us a negative. So five, a negative 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to negative or minus 10. Negative 5 multiplied by 1 is equal to negative 5. Negative 5 multiplied by 0, well anything multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. Now if we have a look at our answers, we've got negative 10, negative 5, 0. Each time our answer is getting 5 bigger, it's increasing by 5. So our next answer should be 5, so that's negative 5 times negative 1. Well negative times a negative will give us a positive. So a negative times a negative is equal to a positive. And then finally, negative 5 multiplied by negative 2 will equal 10, because a negative times a negative is equal to a positive. So there are rules, a positive times a positive is equal to a positive, a positive multiplied by a negative is equal to a negative, a negative multiplied by a positive is equal to a negative, and a negative multiplied by a negative is equal to a positive. If the two signs are the same that we're multiplying together, so the positive times a positive and a negative times a negative, the answer will be positive. And if you're multiplying one negative and one positive together, one negative and one positive together, or one negative and one positive, um, the answer will always be a negative. So if you've got one of each, the answer will be negative. So let's have a look at some questions now. So here's our first question. We've got nine multiplied by negative three. Well, we've got a positive times a negative, and a positive times a negative is always equal to a negative. Positive times a negative is equal to a negative, because you've got one of each, positive times a negative. So we're gonna write down negative to begin with, and then we're just gonna do nine times three. And nine times three is equal to 27, so our answer would be negative 27. Our next question. Our next question is negative five times by negative four. Well, negative times a negative is equal to a positive. So our answer is positive, so we can just do five times four, and five times four is 20, so our answer would be 20. And our last example of these ones, uh, negative two multiplied by 12. Well, it's a negative times a positive, so we've got one of each, so it's gonna be a negative answer. And two times 12 is 24, so our answer would be negative 24. So let's have a look at our next example. So our next example is eight multiplied by negative 10 multiplied by negative three. So here we've got three numbers multiplied together. So what we have to do is we're gonna work, multiply the first two together first of all. We'll get that answer and then we'll multiply by negative three. So let's first of all focus on our eight multiplied by negative 10. So eight multiplied by negative 10. That's well, a positive times a negative. So because it's a positive and negative, one of each, the answer will be negative. We've got eight times 10, well eight times 10 is 80. So eight times negative 10 will be equal to negative 80. Now we need to multiply that by the negative three. So we're gonna do negative 80 multiplied by negative three. Well, negative times a negative is a positive. So we're gonna do 80 multiplied by three. Well, 380, so that's 80, 160, 240, so that's 240. And because it's a negative times a negative, the answer is positive. So our answer is 240. So our final answer would be 240. And our last example. Our last, our last example is a little bit different. We're going to be squaring a negative, so we've got negative 6 squared. And remember, squared means multiplied by itself, so this means negative 6 multiplied by itself. So negative 6 multiplied by negative 6. So we're gonna do, it's a negative times a negative, so that's a positive. 
And then 6 times 6 is equal to 36, so the answer would be 36. So if you're ever squaring a negative number, the answer will be positive, because you'd be doing a negative times by itself, so that's a negative times a negative, and that's a positive. So negative 6 squared is 36. So just remember, these are important rules. A positive times a positive is a positive. A positive multiplied by a negative is a negative. A negative multiplied by a positive is a negative, and a negative multiplied by a negative is a positive. And the way I tend to remember it is, if you've got two of the same, so you're multiplying two positives or two negatives, the answer would be positive, and if you're multiplying one of each, the answer would be negative. And that's it.